well dear students let us start with the another topic shell in mollusca uh, as you remember that the mollusks are characterized by having skeleton in the form of shell so the body of the mollusk is very soft but the skeleton is present is in the form of the shell and this skeleton may be sometime present externally and sometime internal as well and the shell is secreted by the mantle and mantle is the covering of the visceral mass body is covered over by the soft body is covered over by a layer the membrane called the mantle which secretes the shell because shell formation takes place in the larval form in the larva of the mollusk is called veligar larva so you can say that it is secreted by the mantle of the veligar larva so cell may be univalve like you can see having only one valve having only one part it may have the two parts like you can see called the bivalve you may have the cone shaped shell like you can see it is a cone shape this is also cone shape you may have spirally coiled shell you can see this shell is spirally coiled or this is also spirally coiled shell and sometimes the shell may have a row of the plates normally eight in numbers so they have eight rows of plates or eight valves you can say as far as the transfer section of the shell is concerned it is made up of three layers periostracum prismatic layer and necker this below is the mantle layer which secretes the shell we are here to study the structure of the shell only periostracum is the first outermost layer it is colored layer so it is pigmented and it is made up of horny organic substance called conchiolin no horny organic substance means a substance which normally resembles with the horns of the animals which make up the horns of the animals then below this there is a, a very thick layer called the prismatic layer it is the second layer it is made up of crystalline calcareous plates so made up of the calcium carbonate so called calcareous so it is crystalline in nature and then you come the third layer nectar nectar is the innermost layer of the shell it is also called mother of pearl because pearl is found in the nectar region and it is also made up of conchiolin and calcareous plates you may have varieties of shell in the mollusks and few of them have are discussed over here various uh, mollusks have various types of shell say for example the chitin the chitin if you look at it is having the shell made up of the eight plates these are the plates calcareous shell plates made up of calcium carbonate around them you may have the calcareous spicules and then the mantle edge we shall look into the into the shell plates they are eight in numbers in case of chitin they are transverse and every plate is overlapping on other they are having the overlapping type of nature posterior edge of plate overlap the anterior edge of the next behind so if this is the first then the posterior edge of this first is overlapping or hiding the anterior end of second these plates are not fixed they are movable over one another they are made up of the calcium carbonate and they cover the dorsal surface of the body uh if you separate the shell plates of the chitin 
the anterior most one is the first it is hemispherical in uh, in, in in shape and because it covers the head so called the cephalic plate then from second to seventh you have the intermediate shell plates these are rect roughly rectangular in shape and often keeled mid dorsally the dors mid dorsal the central dorsal por uh, portion of this this uh, these intermediate shells is slightly raised giving the appearance of the keel then uh, these these intermediate plates have an anterior portion called articulamentum this articulamentum is the portion which is overlapped by the anterior one so articulamentum of every shell plate intermediate plate is basically covered or by the anterior one so this is the type of overlapping this is uh, lower in, po in position because it is covered over by the anterior one it is thicker and dense layer consists of calcium carbonate then you have the this portion called the tegmentum this is the upper layer uh, which is seen superficially from outside upper layer it is made up of organic choline then you have the last shell it is again hemispherical and this is called as inner this is the eighth shell then coming to the next uh, organism dentalium the dentalium belongs to the order scaphopoda <coughs> it has cylindrical tubular because it is hollow from inside and slightly curved you see it is not straight and tapering at one end whereas other end is broader both of the ends are open okay and it is giving the appearance of the of the tusk of the elephant so called tusk shell also uh during life this whole of the uh the shell is uh, buried deep into the mud and the with its uh, posterior broader end uh, deep into the mud and the uh, narrow anterior end slightly projecting above the surface of the mud shell of the uh, dentalium octogonum is snowy white in color uh, with eight grooves eight grooves you can see lung, uh, running down the entire length you can uh, you can observe there that a groove like appearance is running entire length of the shell and sometimes the other species the formosum they have the mottled uh, shades of dark and red so you can see different shades are present over there so dark shade and then the red shade dark shade and the red shade is present uh, in in formo formosum whereas octogonum have the longitudinal running uh, grooves on the on the surface then you are having third individual cypria cypria shell is roughly oval or rounded on the top and flattened at the base beneath it is flattened the shell is opening through a long and narrow toothed you can see tooth like appearance is there toothed on both the sides from this side it is also toothed and from this side is also tooth channel at each end so it is having a long narrow channel uh, um, present beneath and <coughs> it is having tooth on both the sides it is having tooth on both the side they are extremely smooth from its surface dorsal surface is very smooth highly polished and variously colored shells so you may have variety of color of this type of shell 
and this shell is very conspicuous and prized, highly prized in the markets. Then uh, looking at, to, at a, another individual, Mytilus. Shell is equivalent. Equivalent means both the half of the shell are equal in shape and size. So it is the dorsal position showing only one uh, or, or you can say one lateral position uh, showing only uh, one half but actually on the other side similar type of half is present so called bivalve so this is the picture which is showing that they are having the bivalve uh, they are pointed in front and rounded behind front portion is pointed and other portion is rounded such type of shape which is having a pointed one end and the broader other end is called the wedge shaped. So the shell of the mitilus is wedge shaped. Two valves are united anteriorly. So these two valves, they are united anteriorly by a single hinge ligament. As your doors are uh, connected with the hinge. So similar is the position of this that the two shells are connected anteriorly with the hinge ligament. Hinge ligament is made up of conchiolin protein and brown and tough and elastic. It is brown in uh, color, very tough and elastic also. Ambo, you can see this is the ambo, a whitish knob like swelling in each valve lies anteriorly. This is the anterior portion of the of the valve, and at the anterior end, you may you may see this ambo. It is thickest and oldest portion of the shell. Shell start started its uh, formation from here, and later on it grows like that. And this is the oldest and the thickest part of the shell. And then you can see that the lines of growth or the rings of the growth run around ambo. This is the ambo. So various lines and growth are running around the ambo and they are parallel to one another. Each line is parallel to one another. Then the fifth uh, individual is showing another type of, uh, as I have discussed earlier also, that shell may be internal. So CPI is having the internal shell. It lies embedded in upper side, that is dorsal side, completely enclosed in a sac of mantle. So here the mantle has secreted the shell, but it is present below the mantle, not present on the dorsal surface. Uh, you can look at this. This is flat, broad, and oval in shape, represented by phragmocone. So this is called as phragmocone. It is having a broader and rounded oral end called proostacum. Why called uh, oral end? Because this uh, is the portion which, uh, which will have the mouth also. So oral end is, is called proostacum and on the other hand it is having a narrow pointed aboral that means and opposite to the oral end is called rostrum. This rostrum is also having a projecting spine. This shell is dead, so it is present uh, internally, but it is dead and made up of calcium carbonate, so calcareous matter. The calcareous matter is so arranged in fine parallel layers. So when it is arranged in a parallel layer, the layers are called septar lamini. So the space between the septar lamini contains a fruit and the gas. Because of such type of formation, it is very light in weight and because it is light in weight, it also acts as a float. It uh, helps the animal in floating in the water, also called as hydrostatic organ. It is commonly spoken as cuttle bone. This shell is also called cuttle bone because CPI is commonly called as cuttlefish. Being light in float, uh, being light float in water, and during monsoon, uh, so many sepia 
or drifted uh, ashore in such a great number that they have been named as a sea foam. So that's why the CP are also called as sea foam because once they are they, they are drifted uh, in a large number together, they look like as a foam on the water. This is all about the various types of the shell in the mollusks.